Uh, my name is Mike. I am into backpacking and photography. I am a photographer full time. That's what I do. I'm like a dad and a husband and all those things too. I like going backpacking and seeing uh, the outdoors and taking pictures of stuff and taking videos and doing all my 360 stuff. Um, it's really just a lot of fun for me. This is going to be my first official gear review, I guess you could say. I've done like a couple others, but I'm going to kind of start doing them more regularly. And so I figured what better way than to combine the two things and show you guys like how I carry my gear when I backpack. So I guess to start off quickly, I'll say uh, whenever I do bike packing, canoeing, kayaking, um, that kind of thing, I carry my camera equipment in a camera bag. Over the years, I have searched far and wide for a bag that is both a backpacking bag and a camera bag and something like that doesn't really exist. Um, so the best thing is to like make your backpack camera ready or this is kind of like the best option that I have ever found. Um, this is the Low Pro Photo Sport 200. This bag is fantastic for that kind of trip. Um, you could probably do an overnighter with this thing if you, if, if like maybe in the summertime, if you just wear your clothes, pack your stuff in here. There's a ton of storage in this bag. Um, if you look at this top part, it's huge. You know, you could fit, I've fit uh, like a whole down coat in there and hats and gloves and everything else, you know, just fits right down in there. Uh, the cool other thing is that like it actually your hand goes all the way to the bottom so it's kind of as if the camera part was just an insert but you can't uh, remove it so it's just in there forever this bag has a ton of storage like I said so it also has this awesome like big mesh front pocket here and you can really um, it kind of straps on here onto the side of the bag there and this can unclip and when you unclip it you almost get like unlimited storage you clip it on both sides there and then you get like this huge front pocket where you could put like all kinds of stuff I mean you could put like a tarp in there you could put water filters in there whatever you got to put in there if you want to go backpacking with this thing um i mainly put like you know all the extra stuff jackets rain jacket whatever um if i'm bringing my hammock i'll have my suspension in there the bag also has a place for a water bottle here when the bag is fully packed you can uh cinch the top here just like that i'm doing this like kind of hanging it but and then it's not waterproof, but then you have this top cap that can flip over. And I mean, it's rain resistant like that. And this buckles down on the side here. Just like that. It's almost like the same design as like any Osprey backpack or many hiking backpacks. Um, but then it just has this side compartment here where you can put your camera. And you can fit a full frame SLR, DSLR in there um, with maybe like a small lens or like a flash or accessories or whatever um, kind of on the side. This is how I have mine set up. Um, so you could put a full frame SLR, DSLR in this side and then you still have like this little area down there for whatever. Like you could fit like a 35 millimeter Sigma lens in there and like a 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 70. So this is a significant uh, amount of space that's in here. You can't use a battery grip with your full frame camera, uh, but a mirrorless camera all day. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, I will show you the gear that I usually bring, but I just wanted to show you this real quick. Um, the other cool thing, this is like the whole reason why I bought this bag, it has load lifting straps on it so you can adjust everything on this bag there's like straps on straps but 
you know you see how that is there and you can kind of like cinch that down and adjust this to to fit better um, it also has a space for a water bladder in the back so that you can have that uh, that was another great selling feature of this bag you have the thingy here and the and the other thingy there um, but yeah there's some padding on here and then you have hip belt pockets there's one on each side uh, this is also adjustable um, on the hip belt there's there's a strap here to adjust and then you have two on each side here that go around your waist and then I added this little doohickey the retractable cable Anyway, I use this to hook my the nozzle of my water bladder up to that, so then I just it just retracts back to itself when I'm walking, so I don't have to clip it on. I'm just being lazy. So now I will get into kind of the reason why probably anyone's watching this video is how I carry my backpack with camera gear on it. So I have <clears throat> my hiking bag is the. Osprey XO's 58, you know, Osprey was the way to go when, when I first started. I like the brand. I had like a couple other their packs, so that's why I went with this one. Plus I like green stuff and I got a green bag, so that's pretty dope. Um, I'm not really going to review this bag, but I'm going to tell you how I hang my cameras off of this bag. Um, so you could go the fanny pack route, but I'm not going to talk about the fanny pack route. You know, most of the time I use a DSLR, so, you know, when you talk ounces in a camera, that's just kind of like ridiculous weight to me because I'm used to carrying around like a six pound camera alone. So, you know, when you talk about hiking and what's lightweight, it's all uh, relative into whatever you're kind of used to. You know, if you're used to carrying around a GoPro and then you're carrying around a mirrorless camera, you're probably going to be like, holy shit this is a huge camera but to me like a, a mirrorless camera or um you know that's what i use as a mirrorless camera but something like mine is like more like the size of a point and shoot and i'm going to show you i'm getting to that point but i'm not talking about that yet but um yeah so like a mirrorless camera is pretty pretty light to me um but you know i usually bring a gopro a camera and like batteries and stuff like that Again, I'll show you later. That'll be at the end of the video. Okay, so how I carry it is I kind of like integrated um, my bags into the straps somehow. So all the weight is carried up here. Um, what I used to do with my, the first setup I had was this bag here. Um, it's kind of big, but that's kind of what I liked about it. You could fit a lot of stuff in here. It has padding, but the padding is kind of minimal. Um, but I really liked it, but I'll, I'll, the system I use now is kind of an upgraded version of this. And I just used Peak Design um, straps. And I bought, the, I made these guys. You can buy just like the toggle. And this is Peak Design. And you can just snap this into there just like that and it's just a little circle plastic piece and then this is just some zing it and um, this is actually a lighter weight system than what I use now um, but I just like what I use now better than this um, but yeah this is this works really well but there's a reason why I don't use this anymore and why I use the bag that I currently use <clears throat> Also, just to say whatever, um, on this bag, you have like these two elastic loops and I would loop it up through and kind of tie it, tie that on right there so that it would hang down like that. And then my camera bag would clip into that and there would be one on each strap. Just like that. Just like that. Um... So what I currently use is this bag. I only bought it because it matched the color. I'm just joking. Um, 
But seriously, that that was like a plus that it's green and it matched. But the cool thing about this bag is that it had more options to hang it. So it had these cool like loops on the side here that this clippy clip clips into and you can unclip this out of here. Um, and then you have this clip here and I'll show you where that goes in a second. Um, but I was just going to show you around this bag since this is the one that I'm actually using now. Um, you have a big front pocket here in the front. This unzips and you have other storage pockets in here. The rain pocket I wish went on the bottom like most camera bags. They stuff it in a pocket and it's down here. They just gave it to you in like a bag. So you kind of have to put this bag inside your bag. Anyway, so that's kind of stupid. But then on the inside, you have, so the way the lid fits, it's a little bit more weather resistant. Um, you can see when you lift it up, the lid kind of goes over itself before it zips. So if any rain gets on here, it's gonna kind of drip through. And even if it gets on the zipper, it's going to be in here and not go directly in the bag. Whereas like if there was just a zipper here, if it was raining, the water would go through. Um, you have a big mesh pocket here, just one open pocket, but it's big. You can put a lot of stuff in there, batteries, cables, whatever. Um, in the winter time, I can stuff hot pockets in there, or the hot pockets, hand warmers. Um, and then this is kind of a cool little pad feature. So <clears throat> there's this like door of a pad. So you have like that, and then you can open this little door. Oop, that's my silica packet. I put silica packets in there so that it absorbs the moisture. Um, so then you have that, and then you have this kind of like storage area underneath there. So a lot of times I'll put like my camera and stuff under here and then throughout the day I can stuff like whatever in there, a rain jacket. That's a lot of space in here. It's a lot of space. Um, but there's like clips in here or like little ties, little red tie thing. You could clip keys or carabiner to that, clip stuff to it. You have side handles here. Um, <clears throat> but another really useful thing are these straps in the side. Pocket, strap, other little clippy thing. So, how this bag works, so the bad thing about that black one is it always hung, only hung from two straps. Well, you see what happens when you only have two straps. It shakes. So while you're walking, this thing's just bang, would be like just hitting against you as you're walking. I was going to say banging against you, but I didn't want to say banging. Um, <clears throat> but these straps will strap the back of it to hold the back of it tight while you're walking. So that is the cool thing about this bag. It's heavier than the black one. You can get lighter bags, but this is like really beefy. Like you could take this off of yourself and just like toss it with your gear in it and it would be fine. So I don't know, it's probably overkill. You know, I'm not out there tossing my camera bag around anyway. Um, but it, it, for me, this just works better. I feel more comfortable putting my gear in here. I feel, it feels more secure. It's more adjustable. Um, you can remove all this other stuff. I mean, you could lighten it up a little bit and cut things off and like, you know, I don't really need other handles and whatever, but um, you know, I, I like the, the versatility of it better than the other. I, I like things that do a lot of different things well. Um, and because it's so padded, um, I've taken this out in the winter time and it got down to like 30 degrees and I just threw a hand warmer in here and it still it like kept it warm. It was still warm the next morning. Like that's how insulated this is. So um, granted it, it is the hand warmer doing the warming, but um, you know, <clears throat> it still hold it holds the heat better than just the thin fanny pack kind of thing. Creepy. 
So I guess I should talk about the gear uh, real quickly that I bring. Um, the only thing that's really changed recently is my 360 camera. Um, I just picked up the Insta360 1R. Um, in, the, in the past, I was using the GoPro Fusion, but I literally just got the uh, 1R and I'm using it right now to film this. Fusion, this is what I used to use for 360. Now I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, the camera I bring backpacking is this. This is the Canon M100. It's basically like the smallest thing you could take aside from just a straight up point and shoot, but look at how small the camera actually is. It's tiny. And then you put this teeny tiny little baby lens on there. Oh. But yeah, this camera is good enough. Um, I have some adapters that I can put my professional lenses on there if I want to. <clears throat> I have a couple different ones. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a separate video on all that stuff. Um, I, don't wanna, I didn't want to get into too much of the technical stuff of the, the cameras and whatnot. I feel like that's, that's probably like its own thing. Um, the other thing, this is the battery pack that I bring. It's a giant battery pack. Uh, it's like 22,000, what is this? 22,000 milliamps. Uh, I have two of these. I had them, uh, and I have like a small one, like a 4,000 one. So it's like, so either I can charge my phone for like a week using this thing or like I charge it once. <clears throat> I just haven't gotten, you know, I just didn't want to buy, spend money on something when I already had it. Uh, and the 10,000 milliamp ones are pretty much like the same size and almost the same weight. So it's like, why wouldn't I bring more battery? I can charge headlamps, cameras, other cameras, and oh yeah, my phone with this. And sometimes in the summertime, I bring a fan. Um, and it works with a USB. So yeah, having a badass battery helps. This is a RAV power, by the way, RAV power. It's probably upside down, it's not. RAV power, 2200 milliamps, it's awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys how I carry the cameras while I'm hiking. So everybody has trekking poles, right? Um, so I use my trekking poles to carry my cameras. So on this one, da, 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 I have a GoPro mount. So it's just screwed into the top of my trekking pole, just like that. Yeah, I did have to remove the strap permanently, but I didn't really like the straps anyway. I'm a strapless kind of guy. Um, and then on the other side, I just mounted another GoPro mount, but instead I put this little adapter to screw a quarter inch screw so that will allow me to screw that <clears throat> into my camera like this. I'm not going to do it, but you get the point. Um, and then something that I kind of created and I've, oh, I've used this once. I've used this thing once when I bike packed. Uh, cause I took these, I, I was bike packing and I took trekking poles, uh, but I took them for my, my hammock so that I could have porch mode and have a view in my hammock. Um, if you don't know what porch mode is because you don't sleep in a hammock, maybe I'll start doing hammock videos too. Um, but if you don't know what that is, just don't pay attention to what that is now. But this is the selfie stick that came with my GoPro fusion. You would normally fold out these like little feet here and this was like a, this is like a stand, but you fold out the feet and then it's a stand. And normally you would have a telescoping like arm that comes out and then it's like a selfie stick. It's a selfie stick. It has an arm that comes out. Um, but I cut it off right there and screwed this screw in the side, which I had to drill a hole through here and then put this screw in the side. So what you can do is you take your trekking pole and you can stick it in this guy. 
and you can screw the screw and now you have a stand go back here now you have a stand for your trekking pole pretty easy easy peasy but yeah that's kind of like a light option if you want to have like a tripod or like a st self-standing selfie stick it's pretty light i feel like this would be cool if it was made out of like aluminum or something like that um but i just never made it so if anybody wants to make one you can make one and i'll try it out i think that's it so yeah that's how i carry my cameras um you know there's probably lighter ways there may be better ways there may be other ways um i guess there's no really right or wrong i guess it's just really what works for you some of these things i learned from other people and did it and was like mm, and then tweaked it to how i liked it and that's kind of how i came to where i am now um so that's been my go-to for a while now and um i don't really think i'm going to change it anytime soon i think i'll probably just stick with that but um yeah Appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. <clears throat> I appreciate y'all watching and I'm going to be doing some more of these videos uh, coming soon. See you guys.